I think we might want to queue up some more buildings ready for when these guys wake up. Um, but we don't actually have any wood in storage, so let's make that our first priority. We'll chop down some more trees, a little bit more wood. That should do fine. Um, can we make... We can make a research table. It is going to take a bunch of steel. But we have a lot of steel right around our starting point. So that might not be a bad idea. What I'm worried about is I've seen... I've seen some people talking on the forums. They've mentioned how playing as a tribe can be a problem. Basically because you don't have access to any kind of uh, temperature moderation apart from fires. Um, you can find yourself in a situation where you have like a, a really hot uh, time of the year and you get the um, heat wave event. It can kill your colony just because your colonists can't keep cool. And they will eventually suffer heat stroke and potentially die. That is really bad. We don't want that to happen to us. So we might want to prioritize researching the uh, the temperature moderation stuff. Um, it seems like that's going to be the best thing. There are other stuff we, sh we could get before that, but I don't think they have the same kind of priority. We will, of course, have to get electricity first. Uh, those things do run on electricity. So that's going to be a little while. Let's actually take a look at the research screen. We can't actually start it yet, but we can take a look. So we would need to get batteries. And air conditioning. I think we could use wind turbines to charge the batteries. That's going to take us a really long time to research as well because of our tech level. Because we are, we are poor primitives. Hmm... I don't know if we can do that. That might be really difficult for us to get. You know what? If if it happens, it happens. We'll we'll pick up all the research, all the important research at some point. Uh, and if things go wrong before then, well, that's just something we're going to have to deal with, unfortunately. We're wasting resources because our people are not good builders. But let's queue up another little hut. We have this one over here that's just finished. I guess we can put one in here. We can always dig out uh, this stuff. Oh, you know what? I kind of like that. We'll... A small herd of thrombos. Wow. Wow. That is a mighty horn. Now, as I understand it, if we can kill this, we can get a lot of money from its horn and its uh, fur and stuff. But they're really hard to kill. I really don't think we can we can manage that. Certainly not with our primitive weaponry. Uh, it looks like we've released Jesse. That's good. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. So we'll we'll set up a building here instead. It is gonna cut into this building a little. Hey, that is not even close to where I put those. Keep with our little 5x5 five five houses. Um, we can deconstruct that now. And we'll put a, a proper bed in there. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh god. Skunk? Skunk. Skunk is fucked. Oh god, they're they're all coming. They are all coming. Um Guys? This could be a problem. Toxos, do you have a weapon? You have a mace. Abanero, you have javelins. Do you get a little bit back from the corner? Iguana, you have a club. Guanaco, you have a spear. Panther, you have a bow, so you get back here as well. Uh, who didn't move? Looks like we got everybody. Okay. Skunk is gonna need some help. 
He got pretty beat up. The whole herd has gone fucking insane. Oh, they're going after Iguana. Iguana, hide. I don't know why I'm hiding behind trees. It's not like these guys can actually uh, shoot at us. Oh, they better not be going after animals. This is really bad. This could be our colony here. We are not suitably equipped. Iguana is down. Have we seriously just been killed by fucking deer? Guanaco is down. Toxos is down. Panther is down. Abanero is the last man standing. Abanero is down. Okay. So that was a thing. Do we reload and... and not fuck this up? Or do we just start over? Aw, oh, no. Leave the monkey alone. You know what? We're, we're gonna reload. I wouldn't normally... I wouldn't normally do that. I'm normally the kind of guy who... who takes his hits but this is the six minutes into the third fucking episode. We got killed by a bunch of deer. I think that happened to us before, didn't it? One of my earlier RimWorld series. I'm pretty sure it did. But you know what? You know what that means? Let's not fuck with those deer. We will still get a bunch of wood. That's so, so fucking dumb. But yeah, I think that happened to us before, a long time ago. Let's try and make it in line with this one. That's not right. Okay, this time we have a psychic drone that's affecting the males. It's kind of annoying. I'm having trouble seeing where these things line up. That's not normally a problem for me. And we'll put... one down here as well. And I guess we'll put another one. I guess here would be the same as on the other side. Oh, that's not right. Don't do that one. There. Might even fit another one in there. Also, hopefully somebody has the time to release Jesse. Uh, let's make sure we... Get rid of all this junk. Um, doors. That's what we need. And some floors as well. And a bed. I wonder if, um... I wonder if, um... The animals are more likely to attack in this version of the game. Or perhaps it's just a result of the, the particular um, weaponry we're using. Either is possible. It certainly takes a lot more to, to kill. 
using our primitive weaponry than it does, say, a rifle. Hey, little foxy. Hey, little fox. I love foxes. Rats, not so much. They can be cute. Timberwolf. A raccoon. Oh. The Timberwolf eating a rat down there. Well, I'd rather him eat the rats than our people. Let's take a look at our schedule. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. I think we're gonna start changing our schedule a little. We'll make sure they always go to sleep at some point after 10, but before 2. But we'll make sure they get up and start working at 7. Put a nice big work chunk in there, so they have to work. We will allow a couple hours of joy midday if they need it. Another big old chunk of work. And then in the afternoon and in the morning they can they can work if they want to, but otherwise otherwise they can take care of any needs they might have. I just want to make sure that during the, the, the real chunk of the day we get a lot of work done. I don't want people going off on strolls and stuff. Um, we could still use more meat. Uh, let's go grab this turkey. And the boar as well, why not? Psychic drone is finished, that's good news. Um, we have two more beds, so we can get rid of a couple of these. Oh wait, aren't a couple of these guys also in a relationship? Yeah. Skunk and... Habanero. So we need to get them a double. Hopefully they don't have a falling out after we go to all this trouble to make them a nice double bed. Once that's up, we'll uh, we'll reassign some people. Make sure they get that one. All right, that was a pretty good day's work. After the uh, the false start with the those deer, I do think that's a change. I know they used to get get mad. There's some traders. We'll talk to those guys if they're still here in the morning. Um, what was I about to say? Yeah, I feel like that's changed. The um. When they used to get angry, it used to be one got angry. But now the whole herd gets pissed off. I think last time we lost some people to a, a deer herd was an event uh, that caused uh, a whole area of animals to go crazy. Uh, but this time it was just down to them getting pissed off that we were shooting arrows at them. Our best social person is Panther. So once the morning comes, we'll get Panther to go and talk to those people and see if they have anything we might want. We don't have a lot of money, but maybe we can sell some stuff. Looks like Skunk is first to get up for some breakfast. He's eating berries. We have meals. I guess they fancy berries. Alright, Panther, go talk to Elephant real fast. Jesus, skunk, you're bad. Uh, I would like more medicine, but it's kind of expensive. A psychic insanity lance. That sounds fun. No way we can afford it, though. We have plenty of pemmican at the moment. Let's buy all of their medicine. Okay, let's not buy all of their medicine. Let's not sell them any, either. That'd be silly. How many medicines can we get? We can spend all of our money getting four medicines. Okay. So we now have no money. We... We are growing the herbal medicines, but they're going to be a little while, so I, I feel okay having a little bit of extra laying around. 
Why are we eating berries? I don't understand. We have meals and we have pemmican, but they're choosing to eat the berries. I guess that's okay, because I guess the berries are going to go off first? Ten days... No, the, the meals are going to go off first. Guys, can you please eat the meals? I'm actually going to stop cooking the meals then. If you're not going to eat them. We'll just make pemmican. The meals go off faster than the the raw f um, the raw food does anyway. Which I don't think I realized. I think that's why I was working so hard to cook meals. We don't have any meat. I want to see how long meat lasts. Oh, no, we do have some. Yeah, it doesn't last very long. So the meals go off about as fast as the meat does, I guess. Although I don't know how long these meals have been in here, because that one's got two days. I don't know. I'm a little confused. Okay, we can get rid of these last two little beds. And make sure we assign the right people to this one. So it was Skunk and Abanero. They get a nice double. Uh, I think we are going to build our our research table. And in here, for now, we'll just be fine. We'll make a little stool as well for whoever is doing our research. Just a little stool. Don't need a chair. I mean, we could deconstruct the campfire. We have the stove for cooking now. It's not too hot in there. I think we'll leave it for now. If it starts to warm up, we'll have to get rid of it. Uh, we're, we have enough beds for everybody. That's good. Oh, not research. Do you have all the, the stuff you need? Need more wood. We are going through a lot of wood. Oh, we have a bunch. Never mind. I couldn't see it in there. Okay, we're... Our visitors are eating pemmican. It's unfortunate that we're not. You are a terrible hunter, skunk. Can we make anything for joy? We can. Let's make a horseshoes pin. Give our guys something to do. Let's also make another table in there. Because that one's full. Where is the dining table? Yeah, let's just put it on that side. We'll make some more chairs. And that will be lovely. We should also maybe make some stuff in here. Should we make some more short bows? Try and keep everybody at range. I don't know. Some of our people do not have any real shooting skills. Um, yeah. I think it's better off having clubs. Especially since Iguana, I think, is actually a... A brawler, yeah, she'll be unhappy. She? Yeah, she'll be unhappy if we give her a bow. Our research table is done, so let's pick a pick a research. Complex clothing, what will that give us? Well, let us make actual clothes. I would kind of like to make cowboy hats and dusters, because they will help in warm weather. Metal weapons would be very, very good. Uh, brewing isn't going to have a penalty on it. So maybe we start with that. We can start making beer. That'll make people feel better. But it's not exactly important. Maybe we get stone cutting instead. Nah. Let's get smithing. I think that's actually going to be the best one for us. Do we have a researcher? We do. It is Panther when she's not doing anything else. But she does a lot of things. We'll just research when we have time.
Our guests are leaving, that's okay. It's nice to meet them. And we did buy some stuff. Okay, they are eating the meals, but they're not prioritizing them in the way that I would like them to. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. Hey, we're playing horseshoes. Nice. Eating pemmican and just kind of hanging out. Panther is doing some research, which is good. And she'll do that basically until bedtime. When we force them to go to bed at 10. Oh, she's, she's not going to do that because she's busy. I guess she doesn't really need to sleep either. Yeah, there she goes. I guess she'll sleep a little bit later than other people. We should maybe get some beds set up for our animals. Uh, let's actually slow down time uh, for a brief minute. I want to see if anybody has a particular relationship with any of our animals. Iguana, Patsy likes you, so let's let's give you you a a little sleeping box in your bedroom for Patsy. What about Takeshi? You like Panther. So we'll give you a little sleeping box. And Dolly the cat. You like Abanero. And so we'll give you a little sleeping spot down there. Nice. And that serves no real purpose except to get our animals inside at night. Holy shit, Dolly. You okay? <laughs> raccoon scratched you and now you're bleeding. But you're gonna eat a whole raccoon, Dolly? You ate 20% of it. Iguana's gonna clean up the blood. That's... is that the right... the right room? Yeah, good job, Dolly. You figured it out. Now, we can't assign the boxes to specific animals, so hopefully they go to the right ones. Skunk's gonna take care of Dolly for us, that's good. Poor Dolly. Where'd the raccoon go? Oh. Are we gonna eat it? Because the cat only ate 30% of it. Can we eat the rest? <laughs> Why did I just check the dead raccoon social tab? Uh... Well, it would have amused me if it had showed that it, it had a grudge against uh, our cat. That would have been funny. Alas, it wasn't to be. I don't really want to build anything else, so I think we're just going to hold tight for a minute. At some point, I would like to move our research table out of this room. Or maybe we'll keep this room as it is, but we'll build a bigger one for gatherings. Hey, Abanero and Skunk are going to get married. Sweet. We need to make a marriage spot. Okay, how do we do that? Is it a furniture? Oh, misc. There we go. Marriage spot. Where is a nice spot for them to get married? We could all go down by a pond, but ponds are not particularly attractive areas. If we had like a lake or a coastline, that would be kind of cool. Oh god, it's a raid. It's gonna have to wait. A group of pirates from the Crushers. They're gonna prepare. Oh my god. Hawk has EMP grenades. Washinto has a PDW. Natsuki has a pistol. And Hay House, well, he has a club. He's kind of the odd one out. Are they actually good with their weapons? He is good. He, she is good. He is good. He is good. We are in trouble, I think. 
This could be bad news. Are they armored as well? Hawk, Hawk is armored. Hawk is really armored. This could be a problem. They're going to prepare for a while. We should maybe think about building some fortifications to slow them down. We could just make a line of sandbags straight across here for now. That's a lot of steel, though. Hopefully we can afford it. We can have our ranged people stay back there. You know what? Let's also build a part that sticks out. And we can put our melee units in there. Is that a good plan? I don't know. But it is a plan. Time will tell if it's good or not. <laughs>